and then we're going to insert the next window. Just like that. Making sure it's pressed firmly in place. And there's another one. We only got two more to do. So getting the next one ready. Going to go ahead and press that down. Going to grab it with my hand. And start slowly twisting. There we go. And now the Loctite gel control. And then we're going to insert the gel into the sides of the window and then slowly start working the glue into the crevice all around the window while taking sure that there ain't no glue trapped inside the window itself and that should do it now we're going to do a little trick of getting the window in my hand grabbing it with the tweezers and then inserting the window into the crevice And then just pressing it in place. Looking it over. Getting out some excess glue that's around the window. Just wiping it away. Before it dries. And there you go. We got one more window to do. So, same trick. Taking the tweezers. Pressing down. Pressing it about right there. You can see how it's hanging down right there. And then I'm going to take my finger. I'm going to grab that piece. And I'm going to slowly twist back and forth. And then it eventually gives way. And then there we go. All the windows are off of that. So now we're going to put the last window in. Taking it, putting the Loctite Ultra Gel Control Super Glue into the window. On this side, I'm going to get some more for the other side. Like I said, if you get too much out, don't worry about it. Just slowly wipe it away as you're working with it. Just like I did, I got too much in there. So, I'm going to go over my window. There we go. That should be enough. And now for the last window to go in. Taking my hand. Doing my little trick. I'm going to grab the window. Making sure that I got it. And I'm going to insert the last window. Just like that. And while it's here, I'm going to eyeball it. Take my tweezers. Wipe away the excess glue. Okay. They are frosting a little bit, but that's to be expected with super glue, so... I'll be going over them later with an X-Acto blade slowly. So taking the test, belly pulling to check the seat to make sure they are fully secured. I 
Nein, muss ich hin. And that one's in, okay? They all seem to be fully in. So with that, we have all of our window frames in this piece. I forgot to check these two front ones. Yep, that one's in. What I'm doing is I'm taking the tweezers and I'm putting them underneath, right in the frame, right in the frame, and I'm slowly trying to lift up to see if it gives way. Which it's not. It's good. They're in there secure. So that's a good thing. And now I'm going to search for that piece it was talking about, which is the skylight piece. This right here. And we're going to pop that onto this piece. Um, eyeballing it, making sure if one, they all look about the same size hole, so I think I just gotta take it and just pop it on. I don't think there's no reason to glue that. That snapped in really tightly and secure. So, yeah, there's that right there. Complete now. That's basically the thing that sits over top of the engine room. This is like up high on the deck above the engine room. It's like the engine casing right there. It just sits on the top deck. Okay. So now that we've done that and got it snapped into place. Step five. The two cowls 51B fit in the holes on the roof near the aft edge of the deck house. 51k as indicated the pegs and holes are shaped to ensure you fit the cowls facing the right way use a little glue to hold them in place okay so we're going to put the little cowl vents on there and that would be these um ones right here that curve so getting this out I'm gonna go ahead and take my tweezers grab one put it out I'm gonna grab the second one and put it out I'm gonna set that bag to the side because we'll probably need the other parts on that in a minute so taking our first little cow vent we're going to insert it. They got a key shape. See the key shape? There's a key shape on this. That's what it meant by they are basically made to fit the right way. And we're going to insert our first one. Which it is a little bit loose. And then we're going to insert our second one. Which, yeah, these are these are loose. These are definitely loose. Okay. So I'm going to get some Loctite. Put just a little bit on there, not too much. And I'm going to insert the first one. Making sure that it's straight. I see a little bit of paint chip right there scratched off on my board that I painted, so I'll go back over that later. Okay. Then I'm going to glue the other one in place. Making sure that it's straight as can be. There we go. We got those two cows in. And now I'm going to move to the next page. Next page we're going to be putting some more small vents in. And then we will be done with this stage. So step six. Take care to identify the fixing points for the remaining vents fit the two vents 51c 
in the center of the starboard side of the deck house. So we'll do that first. And that's these two little tiny ones it's talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and put those out. I'm going to look at these holes to see where they're located. Okay, so the very bottom hole on that side, okay. So I'm going to put some Loctite at the very tip of that. And this goes into the very bottom hole right there. Right there. It goes right there. Then the next one goes at the next hole up. So that next hole that's just all by itself right there is where the yellow one goes. So get some Loctite on this. And I'm going to insert this last one right in place. Goes right there. He goes right there. And that's them two in place. Above left and above. Fit the hooded vent 51D near the forward edge of the starboard side of the deck house. Below left. The peg and hole for the hooded vent are shaped to ensure you fit it facing the right way. Apply a little glue to the pegs to hold them in place. So the hooded vent, I haven't seen a hooded vent since we was working on the, the forecastle at the very front of Titanic. The very front of the ship. It's it's called a it, it says forecastle inside the book on that, but a whole lot of people call it a forecastle deck. I'm just calling it you know what it says in the book. But anyway, it's gonna go right there in that key shape. Making sure that it's in. Make sure that it's straight as I can get it. Right there. So it goes right there. <laughs> okay, that's the last thing to do for this issue. Work has begun on the deck house above the engine room. Keep the remaining windows, grills, and screws for use in future issues. Let me zoom you out. You can see there. There's a completed work. And with that, we have completed this piece. Like I said, I'll go over some paint and touch up that little chip right there. And over here too, I'll go over with it some paint again. But that is this part right here. Complete. And that's eventually going to set right here, I think. Yeah, that's eventually going to sit right there. And you can see it from the front. Sorry, it's kind of hard to get this thing. Camera so big. Let me get you focused. Okay. You can see it right there from the front. And then it's got its doorknobs, its little window frames on there and everything. I just stuck glue to the bottom of that thing. That ain't good. Ugh. Let me take this off right fast and check that. Set that there. Uh, where did I get glue? Huh, but on the circuit board, that ain't good. Wipe that off. Forgot the glue bottle was uh, open and I set it straight down on it. Get up there, out of the way so it don't happen again. But I got a little bit of glue splattered right there. But I think it should be fine. 
But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoy and I hope y'all doing safe during these troublesome times. And you all have a blessed one. And when I come back, we'll be doing some more build of the Titanic. We'll be working on the next issue, which will be issue 52, which is more lifeboats. But until then, y'all have a blessed one. And goodbye.